What's poppin' it's your boy TJ, welcome back to the channel, hope everyone is well. The trading week has been insane, it's been litty. Made over 800 pips from a 20 pip sell. Win rates going through the roof, free trades right there, absolutely eating, VIP as well, absolutely eating. And this has been cons consistent as well, you know, last week, plus 29%, this week we're up like 40, in, like 40 percent so crazy like that i'll show you my live trades as well i was making you know 10 20 30 bags this week which is crazy for me you know i'm only 20 i know i'm only 24 i say that i'm getting old but it's still a lot of money to earn in a week obviously bip members just look at some of the stuff in the discord like who out here in this community and i know i don't upload a lot but who in this community is actually getting their VIP members to be top three on the leaderboards of FTMO, making an eight, nine K on a 50 K account. There's no one really doing it. And you know, my consistency has been a little bit shit, but I promise you, I am trying my best. The Forex Funder is going to be officially launching on Monday or Tuesday. It depending on, because this weekend we've got Bank Holiday Friday and Bank Holiday Monday. So we'll probably launch it on the Tuesday. All set up, link in description. If you want to get your accounts early, click on it. But real launch will be on about a Tuesday. Without further ado, I'm going to go through the charts, all the analysis that you need to know about these trades that we took. And also for your knowledge, I'm going to go through what gold's going to do next week because 1988 is going to be here. It's got to fill the imbalance on the daily. But without further ado, if you are new, like, subscribe, join up the free trades link in the description. If you want to join the VIP, you click on the bot. It's a TJFX bot and the Discord. I'm going to be not relaunching it. People joining every single day, like 50 plus members, but we're going to be doing a lot more for the traders in there. And we're going to get a massive team, people who can trade as well on that Discord, posting stuff like graphs, not so much signals, but like setups. It's gonna be bad on there. We've got like 3,000 people, so let's keep it rolling. But without further ado, let's go, baby. Okay, so your boy TJ obviously has been smashing it, should we say. I wanna show you a gold analysis that we've been taking in VIP. And obviously, this was a trade that anyone could have taken. Any trader should know that gold's going by. It's back to the daily imbalance. Look at it, it's got a fill, okay? Look at my daily. See previous highs at 1988 right here. That is an imbalance that has to fill. Then we'll see some rejection or we'll see it go all the way up to 2050, but that is very unlikely. We're probably gonna see it come back down. And the reason for this, as you can see, if you're looking on this chart right now, bullish staggering up all lower highs. On This is on a daily, but pretty much the daily comes down to the bodies and then staggers. So like, if you see this lower high here come just below the daily, just come just below the daily. And if I show you on the 1H, and it's going to make it a lot easier, so don't be confused right now because I don't just trade the dailies. The 1Hs are for the entries and obviously the 15 minutes. But we was catching buys from 1942, which was here. And I was holding it on my account, which I can show you. But 1942 to 1988, which was the main target, which would have been crazy, like four, five, 600 pips. However, Bit of day trading, I think I traded like once or twice. I so will show you a screen recording in in the, in this video and you can see all of the trades that we took in VIP and also free trades. But it was just a matter of time where we were getting in the sniper entries and then entering, let's say for example here at 1750, what's happening at 1750? It's gonna be a level in gold where you're gonna see it collect orders and then bounce back up. And if you see here, we go all the way up to 1970. So from 1970 down from 1940, we break up and make new highs. Take out previous highs in 1965 as well, back in March. Now we're making new highs, the market is bullish. We see it retest all the way back down. Where did it back come all the way back down to? Come back down to collect orders, tap all the previous buyers out at the previous lower highs of where it bullish engulfed up. Now, once it does that, double bottom, you got to get in because you know we've broken out in 1970 and 1970 isn't main target. If you're looking at this previously and we go into replay mode, we see it break out of the original 1H zone, which was at 1965. We're breaking out in 1917. So we're going to get a small pullback, which is what you saw here at these previous lower highs, which is why you're getting back in at 1940. And from there on in, you can just make profit in the market. And look what happens here. Smash take profits, by the way. This is when we smash and take profits. We also got re-entry here at 1950. More smash, uh, more take profit smash. And let me just show you what happens for gold. 
as you can see, still bullish market, and I'm just gonna pause it on the retest. Now, after we bullish engulfed it up on the 1H, where do we pull back to in the next hour? Previous lower highs at 1960. Where do we see rejection? 1960, baby. Therefore, 1960 is gonna go all the way to 1988. Markets are closed because it's first day, but I wanna show you some of the trades that we actually took, and I need to look on my phone for this because obviously, we were trading a lot, not in and out of trades, but just a lot of buys. For example, I caught buys yesterday at 1969, and we smashed take profit one for 100 pips, which was here as well. We caught buys here, 20 pip SL, nothing special, nothing too big either. I don't like having big SLs because it ruins the artois. But yeah, we had something like this, and then we smashed take profit. We saw the imbalance come back down to retest 1960 and then a few of my members did actually get it because they were talking to me on telegram and also on text message they're saying yo what's gonna happen i i wanted to re-enter here but this was friday at about 3 p.m so no need to jump into the market because obviously first uh this friday sorry that was thursday this friday we got good friday so bank holiday not really a lot going on on the markets but this was the previous buyers and the reason for the buyers are i want, want to tell you why we see it retest, right? And this is why you've got to please learn the markets. 1890, fat wick out, previous lower high, 1894 taken out. Then what happens? We run bullish from there on in. We make new highs, break out previous, go to 1950, key level. Where was my entry this week? This happens in March. What happens? 1950, we got back in. Lower high, previous takeout, respecting easy entries and that's why like you can you need to learn the markets like a few months before you actually start trading you know have a better understanding because then you can enter in certain positions and it helps with your confirmation but anyway moving forward we get a load of lower highs here slowly slowly ranging obviously a few nice wick outs and then we go ball one wick out can't break previous lows so then we go ball and we keep running ball keep running ball keep running ball break up to 1950 pullbacks where do we pull back to one h bullish engulfing see the body where are we respecting here previous lower high comes down to the body retest then breaks out from 1950 or 1940 should we say all the way to 1970 so from 1940 to 1970 that's 300 pips that is that's a 15 percent trade for myself and exactly the same with these previous lower highs to highs i just mentioned this but we broke out 1970 pull back taking out previous lower highs and also respecting the bullish engulfing 1H high, like this. And um, guys, I'm not even lying. This is just easy shit that every trader should know. And if you don't, that's fine. It takes a while to learn how gold moves and how you can trade gold. But if it's a bullish market, you're going to always come back a bit to retest. But you need to make sure you can get those entries in. And we're respecting the previous 1930 to 1941 H bullish engulfing acting as a previous resistance now as a support. And that's why you got your entries in at 1940 for the pullbacks. And you could have held, I was holding a trade and I closed it for like 20 grand, but I kept holding till about 1980 and I did actually close there, which is why if you see this market right now, you know this is going to go back up. Probably see pullbacks, but maybe not. If you look on the 1H, we've already pulled back to the body. So it'd be interesting to see if this just flies up, fills it in balance at 1988 and then goes long. But that's the reason for the bullish market. We're expecting some sort of retest on the daily at 1988, but we could fill up more. Unsure of what's really gonna happen, but 1918 is a target of mine. And then my next target is 2000, then 2020, then 2050 slash 60, which is back up here if you see 2050. We've got to retest these bodies and then we'll see some like major pullback and then break out of 1977. Because if you look on the daily, 1977, five hasn't been touched yet 20 no sorry 27 2075 fuck me hasn't been touched yet so we still got a breakout there or at least touch to reject otherwise this isn't a bullish market but you're looking at this we've seen it go from 2077 which was like two years ago touch 1678 one two three four times now bullish market we're gonna go back from where we were two years ago just before lockdown started in pretty much the global world when everyone went into lockdown we are going back up to that which is why it's a bullish market you guys have got to get in the free trades discord and vip i hope this video helped you guys out with the sort of how gold moves and like the market it's pretty straightforward i'm not gonna lie 
even looking at this daily, previous high from the 1760 all the way to 1880. If you look here, bang. Where do we go? We break out, then retest previous resistance, acting as support. And obviously people talk about strategies and stuff, but you've just got to, can all these like strategies and how you learn how to trade, it's got to all go into one. You can't just trade support and resistance. You can't just trade price action. You can't just do, you can't trade that. Like, you've got to adapt to the markets and obviously utilize market direction. Market direction is the keyest thing in trading. If you can't get a direction, you're going to keep tapping SLs. Hope you enjoyed this video. Much love. I'll make sure to release more content. I do apologize. I always say I'm going to upload one every two days and then it's one every week. I'm sorry. I, I just struggle to make content because I'm always trading and then going over stuff again. It's just, I'm just lazy. But yeah, I do appreciate all you guys' support. The subscribers, the likes and everything. It's been a blessing. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Much love. Let's keep eating, baby. Peace.